D-backs hosting the Rockies, and the Rockies are plus 140 on the money line. The D-backs are minus 170 over under nine and a half runs. The Rockies getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 130, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The D-backs laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 110, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two. Now, head-to-head, -head, the home team's on a four-game winning streak. The home team is six and four. The D-backs are on a three-game winning streak. The D-backs are seven and three against the Rockies in their last 10. The favorite is on a three-game winning streak. The favorite is six and four on the money line. The favorite winning these games by two runs or more, laying a run and a half is six and four. So generally, when the favorite wins, they win by multiple runs. There have been no one-run games in their last 10 meetings. So whether it's the favorite or the underdog, whoever wins these games wins them generally by two. The under is hitting their last two, the over under is five and five, and the over nine and a half runs is seven and three in their last ten. The wind is blowing out towards dead center field at 4.7 miles an hour, and just check the Diamondbacks website or roofopen.com and it'll tell you if the roof is actually open or not. It's an early morning, or early afternoon game in Arizona. I would like to think that the roof is closed for, you know, everyone's sake, but Stranger things happen. Now, Anderson did not pitch against the D-backs either last year or this year. They are 2-1 as a team with him on the mound. They've won his last two starts. He's averaging five innings pitched and three and a half strikeouts per game in those games. Davies pitched four times against the Rockies last year. Six and a third, no runs, no earned. They lost 4-1. to one. Five shutout innings, they won 6-4. to four. Five innings, three runs, three earned. They lost 5-3. to three. That was in Colorado. Three and two-thirds, six runs, six earned, and they lost 13-10, to 10, and that was also in Colorado. The D-backs are 2-1 and one as a team with Davies on the mound. He's averaging four innings pitched and 3.3 strikeouts per game in those games. Now, in the last handful of games overall, the games that they've played against each other this year, the last one, the Diamondbacks won 6-0, which was yesterday. The game before that, they won 5-1. The game before that, they won 7-5. The game before that, the Rockies won 12-4. The game before that, the D-backs won 11-4, and the game before that, the D-backs won 9-1. The D-backs right now are 5-1 against the Rockies this season in the games they've played against them. The Rockies have dropped their last three games. They are 1-3 in their last four, and 5-5 five and five in their last 10. 21 runs, 12 runs, 6 runs, and 6 runs. 11 runs and a win, 5 runs and a loss, 1 run and a loss, shutout and a loss. The D-backs have won their last four games. They're 7-3 and three in their last 10. Six runs, 12 runs, six runs, six runs. Four runs and a win, seven runs and a win, five runs and a win, six runs and a win. This is probably the only game that I'm semi on the fence about because Davies didn't pitch all that well against the Rockies, but the home team does very well, and the home team generally wins these games by multiple runs, usually when it's the favorite. So just because of the pure stats, I'm going to go with the Diamondbacks. So I'm going to take the D-backs with the money line. I'm going to take the D-backs laying the runs. I do have a feeling that even though I keep picking the over and these games keep going under, that this will be an over game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.